On thy grave the rain shall fall from the eyes of the mighty nation. The bravery of our two soldiers, Private First Class Alberto Obad and Private First Class Jalfred Baccarano with the United States Army will be memorialized here today. Their lives will be cherished and their sacrifice will be remembered forever. Next, I will present a proclamation in honor of these two brave young soldiers, along with the countless men and women who have paid the ultimate sacrifice for their country and our freedoms. It reads, whereas on Memorial Day, the citizens of Orange County join their fellow Americans, remembering with gratitude and respect the soldiers, sailors, armen, airmen, Marines, and Coast Guardsmen of the United States Armed Forces who answered the call of duty and made the ultimate sacrifice for the peace of our nation and the world. And whereas these courageous warriors are remembered for their selfless contributions in the name of freedom, their faithful service, and their devotion to duty and country, and whereas more than one million Americans have died on battlefields at home and abroad, and more than 140,000 citizens were prisoners of war or have been declared missing in action, and whereas our country honors the sacrifice of these heroes' efforts to lay the foundations of peace around the world, and we will forever mourn their loss. Whereas on May 28, 2012, the people of Orange County, Florida, will pay special tribute to those servicemen and women who called this country their home and whose names will forever be inscribed at the Orange County War Memorial, established to honor those who gave their lives so that we might remain free. On this Memorial Day, we honor those who gave the last full measure of devotion to our country. We thank them for our country. We thank them for our freedom and we thank them for their sacrifice. We shall never forget them nor fail to honor them. As we continue operations in Afghanistan and around the world, I urge each of you to keep our service members and their families in your thoughts and prayers. Those who are serving in harm's way will no doubt endure more difficult times ahead. At exactly 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Memorial Day, we observe a national moment of remembrance. I ask that you pause at that time today and reflect on what Memorial Day means. You know, Memorial Day has just become a holiday, a three-day weekend for so many people. And I, especially right now, when almost every night you turn on the news and you hear about some tragedy, we have two of our own local heroes that have um, paid the ultimate price in the last year, and their families are here today, and it's so important that their families know that their lives mattered, that we have not forgotten, that we never will forget. That's what this memorial is about. That's why we have the wall here, and that's why we come out every year at Memorial Day and bring the families and the loved ones to, to make sure that they understand that our community values and cherishes their lives and their sacrifices. The bravest are surely those who have the clearest vision of what is before them, glory and danger alike, and yet, notwithstanding, go out to meet it. Private First Class Obad enlisted in the United States Army on April 5, 2010. He became a naturalized citizen while deployed during a ceremony in April 2011. Private First Class Obad received numerous outstanding military awards and decorations. Private First Class Alberto Obad is survived by his wife, his son, his mother, his father, his brother, and a host of other family members and friends. Private First Class Baccarano loved life to its fullest. It was reported that his family by his family members that he wanted to serve his country and wanted to make his family proud. He was scheduled to be married this coming August to fiance Caden Madden. He is a public servant by nature and planned to become a police officer after returning to his country from the military. Over the years, I continue to marvel at the courage and bravery of these young soldiers. PFC Vaccarano, who volunteered to serve our nation, chose to be in the infantry, fully aware of the dangerous nature of his job. In the words of General Omar Bradley, bravery 
is the capacity to perform properly, even when scared half to death. Nowhere are those words more true than with our military in combat today. And each man stand with his face in the light of his own drawn sword, ready to do what a hero can. Well, we're here to honor the soldiers and others who have given their lives in the line of duty to protect our freedoms here in this country, which makes America the greatest nation in the world. It is the soldier, not the reporter, who has given us freedom of the press. It is the soldier, not the poet, who has given us freedom of speech. It is the soldier, not the campus organizer, who has given us freedom to demonstrate. It is the soldier, not the lawyer, who has given us the right to a fair trial. And it is the soldier who salutes the flag, who serves beneath the flag, and whose coffin is draped by the flag, who guarantees the freedoms we hold so dear. They are dead, but they live in each patriot's breast, and their names are engraven on honor's bright crest. If you have a loved one that has uh, passed away in battle, on behalf of uh, our great country, and, and they're from Orange County, you can find them here. Please come down and, and remember and, and pay your proper respects and join us next year on Memorial Day. We'll be here again. Hopefully, we'll be here again not to recognize um, more fallen heroes, but unfortunately, that, that probably isn't the case.